fearless pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, I'm going over, you may have already seen this, I may have not. Um, I have only just noticed it because I've been really busy. Um, they did a bunch of changes to the faction traits for all 12 factions. Uh, some good news as well. I've got less than 22 hours until I get into my campaign season 5 tactics evolve um which i'll be replaying um so i'm really looking forward to that so um after this video guys i'll be back to normal content um just you know basically grinding the game showing you like usually in the first few days i show progress and that and stuff how things are going and updates and then we'll once we get a bit stronger we start doing some pvp and having fun with that with all the commanders and everything so it's going to be a lot of fun uh, I'm going to be playing Lothlorien and stuff, so keep an eye out for my Gilgalad. We're definitely going to be working on him very strongly at the start, and also we're going to be working on the Seal Door. Um, so yeah, that's going to be very interesting and fun. But we're going to go over these traits because they've been updated and changed and things like that, so it looks very interesting. So let's get into it, shall we? Uh, first off, let's just click on any random one of these. Um, so as you can see, these are all the things we just need to find one that's empty and let's go up We're gonna go in order um, of what I've got on my screen here with the information So first off we have Rohan guys. So their faction trait is for Elingus, which used to be a, at a march speed of plus three uh, percent That has now been changed to reposition speed of 50% increase So that's gonna be pretty interesting and well basically when you're repositioning you get 50% extra speed boost there uh, So that's really going to help um, get fast to different areas faster via the forting system Moving on to the next one we have is Gondor Now Gondor's last trait uh, used to be the land of stone construction time of 5% that has now been changed to organization efficiency where stone and ore gathering will be increased to 10% So you'll be getting an extra of stone, but also of ore as well So yeah, maybe you will take some of these into effect when um, picking your faction next season Some of these buffs may just help a little bit uh, Now we have faction uh, trait for Lothlorien. Let's go to them which I'll be playing this season so very interesting to see here. There's also going to be some um, ring stuff that happens with the ring, but I'm going to talk more about that when I get into the game and look at that and things, uh, which should be in the next, uh, hopefully in the next day or two, I'll start doing videos in game. So that's going to be great. A lot of these animations have got up here. They're pretty cool. So we used to have Elven Wisdom, which gave a 5% uh, command XP. Um, it has now been changed to Elven Song. Which, uh, wounded units recovery rate is increased by 10%. Okay, that's really good for early game. That's really going to help because the, um, the least amount of troops that you lose, the quicker you can build and get stronger tiles and build up and be in those top leaderboards, which I always try to be in the top 100 within the first week. Um, I always usually make a video about that, about how to be in the, um, in the top in the first week. So that's going to be very interesting. All right, moving on to Mordor here. Uh, so they used to have the Land of the Darkness, which was a resource production of plus 5%. Mordor is a hard area to get certain resources as well, like food or um, grain, for example. Um, now, this has been updated to Sauron's Gift, which it increases max ability points plus 20%. So, wow, that's a pretty um, big different change there. Uh, very interesting. So, yeah, you're going to get some more ability points. Very interesting. Maybe some more people will start playing a bit of Mordor then. That's actually, yeah, that's really good. Because we know ability points are very useful. Alright, we have Isengard next, which they used to have the Ring of Iron, which they still have here. But, um, it's, the conscription cost is 10%. Um, it has now been updated to Ring of Iron. Conscription cost is 10% reduction, so it's still the same. But, you also get a barracks, um, cap, 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 cap Capticity, holy hell, EJ, what is wrong with you? Um, yeah, of plus 10% as well, so you're going to be able to have more troops in your barracks. That's quite interesting. Moving on to Erebor, guys. We used to have Sons of Durin, which um, increased conscription time or reduced it by 5%. Uh, the Song of Durin now will be Dwarven units conscription time will now be 
decreased by 10%, so that's going to be a little extra 5% buff there. Moving on to Ruin, which is the, uh, what have we got here? Ruin, so Walker of the Sands, but it's now called Eastern Traveler, which was, um, so it's now called Walker of Sands. It used to be called Eastern Traveler. Against non-player armies, damage dealt plus 10%, so used to do a lot of extra damage against, um, like the tiles. Now, Walker of the Sands, it increases your damage when battling on desert land. So, basically, if you're in trouble and your areas are getting attacked down in the Ruin area and stuff like that, or even down in Haradnat where it's more desert sand-like, you're going to get a buff of damage. So, that can definitely help you out when defending your capital, for example. Moving on to Engmar. Engmar used to have Steel Home, which increased siege damage by 5%. We now have the Ring Wraith Sorority, um, or Sorcery, sorry, um, with Soldier's Death Rate is reduced by 5%, and on top of the current Death Rate, Wounded Soldiers get a plus as well. Okay, so it looks like you're just going to have um, basically less uh, troops dying, pretty much, which is pretty good. Moving on, what who have we got next? We've got Lindon. Uh, we used to have Praise Land, which increased Wooden Grain Gathering by 10%. We now have Close to Nature, which basically wooden grain extracted is increased by 15%. Um, so, that's not with gathering, that's with the extraction um, system where you can use your ring and extract. I think it takes 3 ability points. That's going to give you 15% extra there. Arnor, the faction I really want to play, hopefully when they make the next season, which they are currently hopefully working on. Um, we know that we've got new commanders and that coming, so hopefully within the next two months or so, once I've replayed through this, we'll have something new to play. Uh, so Arnold used to have Land of the Kings, which construction cost was reduced by 5%. We now have Battle Scholar, which gives XP gained by battles plus 10%, so that's really good as well, guys. So you're going to be able to uh, level up your commanders a lot faster, which is going to give you um, a definite... Um, battle, or well, what's the word for it? More of a, you got better odds in battle against uh, PvP and stuff like that. I just can't think of the proper word for it at the moment. Uh, next we have Gundabad Guides, which used to be Underground Hall, which increased storage limit by 10%, which becomes quite useless later game, but early game could be useful. It has now been changed to Efficient Allocation, with resource trade rate plus 10%. So basically, in your market, you're going to get more bang for your buck when you um, do the trading system through that, for the market. Last but not least, guys, we have Vargs. Now, they used to have a uh, furtive mercenary, which um, XP and resources gained by sweeping plus 15%. It is still called the same thing, but it is now being buffed to 25%. So, yeah. Um, a lot of really good buffs there. I have to say there's some that are really good. Um, Mordor got a really good buff. For example, I think Lothlorien, Arnor were really good as well. Um, and even Engmar. But yeah, guys, that's the new traits and the changes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And stay tuned because we're going to be having some actual in-game content coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, guys, peace out. EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Thousands of the EJU.